know the world of English is a fun and exciting place to be. I'm so glad you could join me for another lesson. Today we will look at a word that expresses the action of showing interest in something. To be drawn towards a thing or to develop a fascination for something can be defined with today's word. In this lesson we will take a look at the word curiosity. Having derived from the Latin word for careful, the word curiosity is a noun that expresses the need to learn something. The urge to know more about a particular thing is curiosity. The strong desire to delve deeper into a certain subject can also be described as curiosity. Something that piques your interest might lead to curiosity. You are drawn towards that particular thing. A certain subject or a well-known historical figure that comes to your attention might lead to you wanting more information about the thing in question. You become curious. You have curiosity. To become curious about something is seen as a normal part of learning. To develop a strong interest in something means you have become curious. You want to know more about that thing. A shop window full of strange articles or colourful objects might catch your eye. Those things get your attention, which quite often leads to the sensation of curiosity. If something catches your eye, it means your attention has been drawn towards a certain thing. It is a visual metaphor that defines the moment when your curiosity occurs. You want to know more about what you have just seen. It draws you towards it. In the case of a shop window, it might literally draw you in through the door. That is the power of curiosity. A thing that draws your attention can be described as a curio, an intriguing thing that appears rare or unusual might lead to you feeling curious about it. It intrigues you. Something new that you have never seen before might cause curiosity. A new neighbour moving in next door might lead to you wanting more information. You are curious to know more about them. Your curiosity has been aroused. To arouse curiosity is to draw attention to something. Something unknown is an enigma. It puzzles you. It is puzzling. What is it? What does it mean? Who is that person? What is going on over there? These questions might lead to curiosity. Of course, being curious might answer your questions, but it might also get you into trouble. Too much curiosity might lead to you being accused of prying into something that does not concern you. You might find yourself accused of being nosy. Curiosity is the noun form of curious, which itself defines the adjective form of what is occurring. A curious person wants to know more. A curious object draws attention. An unusual thing or event might be described as appearing curious. There is a great phrase in English which goes, curiosity killed the cat. This phrase tells us that while it is good to show interest in something, that action might also get you into trouble. You might find out something unpleasant, or you might end up facing allegations of being a nosy parker. Ooh. <laughs> Are you curious to learn more about the English language? Then it would appear that your curiosity has been aroused. 
this is mr duncan in the birthplace of english saying thanks for watching and of course ta-ta for now